Okay, it's been 30 minutes. You can see our dough has risen. And for this stage, you're going to need a few things uh, to roll out the dough and to lock in the butter. You need obviously a rolling pin. You can use any rolling pin that you have. This one, which has an 18 inch barrel and ball bearings, makes it quite easy to roll uh, the yeasted dough, but you don't have to have this. You can just use any rolling pin you have. You're going to need some flour for dusting. This is called bench flour. I just keep flour in this little bowl for whenever I need to roll out croissant dough, cookie dough, pie dough, etc. You're going to need a pizza cutter or a knife. A knife works fine, but a pizza cutter is much easier. And if you can, a half of a wooden yardstick. This is just one from the hardware store. Just cut in half at the 18 inch mark. Actually, this one's a little bit longer. It was cut at 19, but I adjust. This is very nice because it will help you square off your dough, which is important. So the first thing I'm going to do here is dust my work surface with flour, tip the dough on there, and now I'm ready to roll. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to roll this dough out to 10 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches so that we can put the butter block into it. Now that we're ready to roll, I'm going to take the butter block out of the fridge so it has just a couple of minutes to soften up slightly. And now here we go to roll. Start from the center, move out. Don't try to go the whole way. After you've rolled it a bit, check to see if you need any more flour. You really don't want this to stick, but you don't want to go crazy with a lot of extra flour either. You can also sprinkle a little on top if you need to. And you want to kind of move it around as you're working with it, making sure it doesn't stick. And then periodically, you want to measure it. So right now, I'm a little over on this direction. I'm at 12 inches, but I'm only at 18 inches this way. So I'm going to kind of square it off, bring it in with my ruler here. And see how it kind of dips here? You can gently pull it out with your hands to try to square it up. Now, that's pretty close to the 10 and a half inches that we want, but we're still at only 18 inches. So we've still got a couple, about two and a half inches to go on the length. And then again, we want to do this because if you measure it when it's stuck to the table, you may not get an accurate measurement. So you want to be lifting it up periodically before you check your measurement. I'm at 10 and a half, and then I'm at about 20, so I need a little bit longer. there. 
And now it's a little bit long in this direction. So we'll kind of push it out back this way. Get it just a little bit this way. Okay, we have our butter block that we've pulled from the fridge already. We're going to brush off any flour from the surface. And then we're going to take our butter block. And the first thing you want to do is make sure it's not too hard or too soft. Try rolling it against the edge of your counter. If it rolls easily but doesn't crack, but doesn't feel too soft, then you're good. So you're going to peel off one layer of parchment and then flop it on the left side. You want to make sure that you leave about a quarter of an inch on all the sides. And then you peel the rest of the paper off. Okay. All right. Now we're going to flip the other side over the butter. Kind of stretch it so that we can get a seam and pinch on all, all on the open sides so that we seal that butter into that dough. You don't want that butter coming out as you're rolling. Okay. And there we go. We've got our butter in. And now we're ready to roll it out and start incorporating that butter.